Hey everybody, this is Dave Moog and Chris Allen. We're a couple of Scotties gamers making our first ever YouTube video and tonight we're going to be showing you part one of the Resident Evil remake remastered version from the GameCube. How do you feel about that Christopher? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty looking forward to it. I never actually had the chance to play the GameCube version so interested to see what the changes were and everything. Well, that's a good point. And gosh, Christopher's never had a chance to play it before. We're going to let him go first. So, Christopher, choose your character. Who are you going to go? Uh, I'm just going to go with Joe this time. Uh, I mean, who doesn't love Joe? Well, yes, he's certainly the fans' favourite. In fact, I asked on Twitter the other night, you know, what character I should win. And uh, Chris only got one vote. That's me. Yeah. Yes. So, let's get started. Joe Valentine. I don't know if you know this or not, Christopher, but the, the origins of Joe is that she's meant to be part Japanese, part friends. Were you aware of that? Uh, no, I was not aware of that, actually. It certainly doesn't have that kind of look about her, apart from maybe the berry, you know. Uh, just to uh, put out a French stereotype there. Uh, well, we're in now to the opening cutscene. Uh, it's certainly a lot different from the original, which was, which was pretty poor graphically. And uh, obviously the acting was pretty poor as well. Although it is missing one of my favourite scenes where Keith pulls the, the gun from the grass and just as you see the, the gun coming up from the screen, you then see the, the hand attached to it. What about you? What are your thoughts on the opening cut scene? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I kind of miss the bad acting from a kind of nostalgia point of view. Always gave me a laugh back in the day anyway. Yeah, I suppose it certainly was a, a manner of laughs, you know. Especially my favourite line was always the... Surely not Chris's blood. Yeah. Uh, I don't go, I don't think we're going to see this this time round. Uh, maybe nostalgic for you, but I, I don't think I'm going to miss it all that much. Huh. Yeah. We've certainly seen a lot more footage than you, we would have seen the original as well. We continue to Starting to introduce us to some of the main characters. There's Albert Wesker, the leader of the Alpha team. We've got Chris Redfield, who's one of the other player characters we could have went. You were making a good point earlier about Chris, weren't you, in this opening cutscene? Was it? Oh yeah, it's that uh, he has the gun there, but when you go Chris, he doesn't have the gun. I was wondering if they really explain that in the cutscene, or like, does he drop it? I'm not sure, I can't really remember. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't think you ever really see it explained. Obviously, because we're playing Jill, maybe the cutscene's slightly different, but I've got a feeling that you're, you're just forced to start with a knife regardless. Huh? I don't know if they'll ever show you him actually drop the gun. No. But certainly the cutscene is a wee, bit, a wee bit longer. And we're getting our first introduction now to the T-Virus dogs. How about you, Chris? Would you be scared if you were a, a SWAT team member? Uh, yes, I would. Be, but I think uh, like I'm kind of disappointed like uh, with Jill here it's like she's supposed to be a professional and she's just standing there staring <laughs> oh well well it looks like the dogs are enjoying it at least yeah. go on Jill yes, you better yes. you better run <laughs> oh. first fall from Jill she's not very good at staying on her feet Chased by a trio of dogs. Yeah, you can certainly see the, the graphical differences in the two games at this point. I think in the file it actually causes the dog Cerberus yes, or something, I believe. The Cerberus, oh they've got Chris, oh! Saved by the boss. Uh, the voice actor for an Albert West uh, is a DC Douglas, someone that me and Christopher have met, something like that, Christopher? Yes, we have indeed. Mm -hmm. yep, we met him this year at the Glasgow Comic Con, uh, where he was one of the, the guest speakers. Yeah, he was quite entertaining. I would fully recommend you go and see him, given the opportunity. And the reloading bar there is us connecting the stats up to the Resident Evil website which is free to register for. I would uh, recommend it to anybody who's going to be playing the game. We seem to have lost Chris. Yeah. But we get a first introduction to the, the stunning graphics of the mansion. It's certainly a lot better than that, the original and even some of the kind of animated characters now that we see them in HD are a lot better than even the GameCube version. Where's Chris? 
Jill, no. Jill, no. You don't want to go, go, go back out there. But we've got to find. Oh, what was that? What was that? Chris. Chris, perhaps. No. No. Oh, I don't want to go down. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. Barry and Chris goes with the three because they're in the army together. Stay sharp. They are right, yeah. yeah. And now they're members of the Special Tactics and Rescue Squad. Or STARS, as it's known in the end one. Right, so this is, where the Chris, this is where the game begins. Chris is going to step up first. You may notice a couple of these stutters in the movement. It's not bad movement by Chris. It's actually to do with the kind of uh, dodgy camera angles at the... <laughs> the genre was used to for the certainly for the first three instalments of the game. Yeah, well, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> Oof! And what we've got now, the ink ribbon, something that uh, certainly I I don't miss. What about yourself, Chris? Um, uh, well, I kind of like was disappointed when point 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 games started going another way and constantly saving, but I think I've kind of got used to it now. I don't think I could go back to. Certainly a feature I thought you would enjoy these days, you know, that you only come back five seconds after the death, you know, instead of the 15 minutes that you'd have been used to. Oh, is you trying to say I die a lot or something? No, your save files would imply that you die a lot. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. Yeah. And there's the, 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 the famous Chrissy's blood scene being, repl being replaced by some decent acting. I love the old door sequences as well. So, right, Chris, you're left on your own now to explore the mansion, go and look for clues as to what's happened. Oh dear. This is interesting, see, isn't it? You, you were telling me earlier on about a reference it was making here. Uh, yeah, it's when he comes up and the zombie turns its head. It's actually referencing the original cover of the Evil Dead uh, when it was back out on VHS, I believe. But unlike the main character of the Evil Dead, you're choosing to run away from your opponents. You know. Quite disappointed there, Christopher. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're aligning an old Barry with the old coat pipe and... Yeah. Off Scott gets the view that one. That's a good point, but uh, what's Barry playing at? A coat pipe and three shots? Is this some kind of super zombie? Yeah, well, all of us always was a bit of a nerd. <laughs> yep. That must be why they never made him a playable character. Right, well, we're heading back to the, the main hallway now to report some kind of strange occurrences to the boss, Wesker. If Christopher can get through the door. Yeah. That's what um, I was talking about, the, the strange yeah. camera angles there. You, you can actually be pressing back on the D-pad when, when it's moving forward and then when the screen changes, <laughs> you can actually go back and forth. Back in the main hall now and Albert Wesker seems to have gone missing. Yeah. Um, Two minutes you were away, if that. Now the game is going to make you do a 360 of the room because cl clearly... If he had his name getting called out, he wouldn't go. This is a, a new part of the mansion. Any old fans who haven't played the new version might be surprised to see that door there. Barry, Barry. Certainly as uh, Jill, Jill. this video goes on, we'll be showing you all the new areas. We'll point them out as we go along. It's all unravelling fast. Yeah, although it's like you thought an elite unit like this was at least brought radios along. Maybe they're in the same place that Chris put his gun. <laughs> Another thing to point out as well is uh, if you look at the likes of Barry, Chris and Wesker, they've all got the full kind of body armour. Maybe not so much protection in their arms, but certainly in, the, in their body. Jill only seems to get these kind of paddy shoulder pads. You know what is that? Is that, that budget restraints? Uh, although the, it's the stars operation just a wee bit sexist towards women. Who knows? Although, I think she does look a lot better than any other character. Yeah. you notice that Barry gave Jill the lockpick, which is one of her special items, which doesn't take up one of the normal spaces in the backpack. I believe if you go Chris, you get the lighter. What's your preference, Chris? Would you 
Would you rather have a lock pick or could you say you're more interested in the lighter? Um, the lock pick, to be honest, I think it's a lot more useful. Uh, and again, I just went totally the wrong way there. Don't worry, I'm sure that won't be the first time. It's easy to get lost in this mansion. I'm sure we'll, we'll see that a lot over the over the coming videos that we'll be making. Uh, yeah, I do think that is a good kind of feature of this game. It's like, it's quite, it's not like linear. It's like, it is easy to get lost. I actually agree with you, but it's, it's something that I see a lot in the fan sites that a lot of people don't like that. You know, they, they, they like the kind of the Resident Evil 4 type action packed linear kind of adventure but no I, I actually didn't mind going back and forth because every time you came back to the mansion there was always something different to enjoy yeah you know it was this room again is slightly different from the original there was normally steps in this room that you would use to get up there to whatever's in the woman with the water barrel and of course we know what it's going to be isn't it it's the map it's the map of the first floor mansion we we'll just take a wee second to have a look at the map. Any hardcore Resident Evil fans will maybe notice a few new areas from the map that they'll be used to. Uh, that's just as we pointed out before, there are there are some new areas included in this game. So we'll keep an eye out for them. Looks like some kind of art gallery. What have we got there? Oh, the diamond. That's a new actually. Yeah, that, that's just a new feature when you enter into combat. Uh, you can actually press L2, well, we, obviously for us, we're on the PS4, but you, you can press the back button and you can actually kind of stave off an attack by kind of using the dagger to put it inside your opponent. Oh, and by the looks of things, you may just get the chance to do so. Looks like we're going to see Chris's first fall in combat. Yep. <laughs> Second fall for Jill. Very some Chris. Oh. Oh. Dagger. Well done, Dagger. We'll be a bit surprised now that Christopher got that. We have to confess at this at this point that we're actually playing the game in easy mode. I'm surprised it actually took three shots. Uh, normally we don't play the games in easy mode, but it's, it's just for the sake of the video to get through it so we can have a wee blather and enjoy the game with you guys. Back to the hole now. It looks like we're heading back towards the super zombie. Yeah. We already had three coats. Can he survive much more? Also, Barry seems to have done a disappearing act. I wonder if he'll turn up again. Yeah. Right, you'll recognise this hallway, Chris. This is where you've done your famous running away. Yes. Only to conserve ammo, mind you. Yeah, that's quite important in this game that you can save ammunition. Maybe not for us on the easy mode, but certainly if you play this on e even as, as low as normal, it, uh, it, is, it is certainly a, a worthwhile tactic to remember to conserve your ammo. Get the old health again. That's like, always I'd love this mechanic in the game. Yeah, it's an interesting mechanic and it's one that obviously survives through most of the genres as well. All the kind of spin-offs and add-ons of the games all have it as well. I think you'll find just in front of that bird cage as well there was a, a magazine clip. Just to the just here right there, Christopher. And we've got a dead raven. We're just very interested to see if Christopher makes it to the clip or not. <laughs> okay, I'm totally lost where you're talking about. If you actually stop the screen there, you'll see in the bottom left of the screen, you'll, you'll, you'll see the the black clip in front of the cage. It's ah, entering yes. the side you came in. Anyway, guys, I think that'll probably round about us for part one of this video. I do hope you'll stay tuned for part two. Christopher, I'm sure you'll be joining us. Yes, I will be. I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway. Uh, if anyone would like to leave comments at the bottom of the page, please feel free to do so. We'll try our best to answer any sensible ones. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Catch you next time.